I'm here to report a terrible crime. What crime is that, ma'am? This one. Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Belisa. Welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how I became Harley Quinn. Before we talk about hair and makeup, let's talk about the outfit. In the new movie, Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn wore a sports bra very similar to this. This is just a thick pink sports bra. And I have these panties that have a nice red top section and I wanted to connect them like she has in her outfit in the movie. So I went ahead and took some ribbon and I just sewed these two pieces together with this black piece of ribbon on either side. That seems to work perfectly. I already had these tattered shorts, which I really love and wear them all the time, so I was so glad that these worked perfectly for this outfit because her jeans are a little bit high-waisted like these and torn up at the bottom, and these were a perfect fit. In the movie, she wears white tights and she has actually um, written some words on them. I instead wore these thigh-high white tights and I used garter belts to attach them and hold them on. I liked this because they match the ribbon and they also match the black boots that I chose for this outfit. So for everything I have on, I actually already owned all of this. I didn't have to go out and buy any of it. So be creative and look through the items that you have. Now let's talk about jewelry. I went to the Dollar Tree and I purchased three necklaces for one dollar. They were red, white, and blue. And I am going to wear one of them for the bracelets on one arm. And as you can see, I'm just putting them around as many times as they'll go. The benefit to this set of necklaces is they actually do open. So if it's easier for you to wrap them and reattach them, that's fine. In the movie, Harley Quinn had a big J on her necklace for the Joker. So I just went ahead and made a J to add onto my necklace. And I am just gonna reattach it here like this. Oh, use a little more strength, girl. The little ball just goes in the plastic piece like so. Okay. And then I'm just gonna wear this with a J. In the movie Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn wore two high pigtails. Sometimes they were pink and blue and sometimes they weren't. Mine are not, mine are just gonna be blonde. And when I was paying close attention in the movie, I could see that she just kinda had some bangs down in the front and then she parted her hair right down the middle. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm gonna part my hair down the middle and hers was a little bit messy and not perfect. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that either. And I'm just gonna get some really cute high pigtails going. And I chose hot pink little rubber bands to match my sports bra. Then once I get these in, I'm just gonna kind of rat them a little bit to make them a little bit bigger and messier and just kind of fluff them up at the top. All right, let's do number two. If you go online and look at pictures, you'll see that hers are kind of messy, which makes it easy because they don't have to be perfect when you're doing them. All right, let's get this side going. All right, I think that's actually pretty good. I'm really happy with that. Next, we need to move on to makeup. In the movie Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn definitely has some key things you need to pay close attention to in the makeup. First of all, her makeup is very, very pale. My skin is much more tan than hers, but I am going to choose a makeup that is a little bit lighter than my skin, just to give it a little bit more of a matte, pale look. So I'm just gonna put on some foundation. Normally I would wear when I'm not so tan.
And as you can see, it's lightening my skin just a little bit. And that just helps give the Harley Quinn look to my tan face. And then I'm also going to do the same thing with my powder. I've actually chosen a clean matte powder by CoverGirl that is matte so it's not so shiny, which is what we're looking for, but it's also a little bit lighter than my skin color right now. And I'm just gonna kind of go over my skin and tap it. And as you can see, the areas I've done are definitely a lot less shiny. And that is my goal. Okay, I think that's really good. The next thing that we're gonna focus on are the lips. The lips take a little bit of time because she was the girlfriend of the Joker. And as you know, the Joker's makeup was very similar to clown makeup and so was hers. So she has these bright reddish purple lips. And so I'm actually gonna start with a deep wine burgundy lip liner. And I'm just gonna start with the shape of my lips and then work my way out and make them, make them the right shape for my face, but bigger to look a little bit clown-like. So I'm gonna start with my lips. And then I'm going to fill in with the same color lipstick just to fill in the lips. So now we have a really good base. It definitely needs to be much bigger than this. So now I'm just gonna start working my way out and extending especially this top, um, the top like heart shape of your lip and out into the smile as well with my lip liner. And you can make yours as big and plump looking as you like, but as you can see, just adding a little bit just really plumps your lips up. And then I'm gonna go out to the corner to bring the smile out. And extend the lower lip as well. Do the same this side. And starting with your lip shape and working your way out, makes it so much easier to make your lips look uniform and it's just an easier place to start for me anyway so i'm just going to add a little bit more to accentuate them a little bit and then we'll move on to the eyes all right all right, I'm really happy with the lips. I think they turned out great. I am just going to touch up a little bit with the lipstick to blend. And that's great. All right, the other main feature are her eyes, her eyebrows and her eyeliner, those two things. So I actually have two palettes I'm gonna use here. Um, I'm just gonna use a Profusion palette to do my eyebrows and my eyeliner. I'm going to really make my eyebrows stand out. And so I'm just going to take a brown that is darker than my hair, obviously, and draw or paint or put on some thick eyebrows like that. You want your eyebrows to stand out So make sure you use a color that is, especially if you have blonde hair, a nice dark brown. And give them a little bit of thickness like this. Next for the eyes, I'm gonna set this aside because I am gonna use it for my eyeliner um, just to kind of smudge a little. But I'm gonna use this um, Melissa Michelle palette because I wanna add some, it's kind of a pinkish, raspberry color that I want to add to my lids to give them some color as well. 
You don't need a lot, but I do put a little extra right here in the corner just for that area to stand out. And otherwise, just cover your lid. Like so. And now, for the eyeliner. You really want your eyeliner to pop, so I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna use a brush and I'm gonna go under my eye to make it a little bit more smoky and smudgy with a charcoal gray color like that. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the top. And to finish it off, I'm going to actually use a black eyeliner pencil to go back over and just smudge it up a little bit more. Because if you look at pictures or if you've seen the movie Birds of Prey, you'll see that because most of the time she is in the middle of a raging battle, <laughs> her makeup definitely does not stay perfect. There's a lot of smudging. So the more smudging you get, actually, the better. So I'm just going to kind of go in and kind of reinforce these lines. And I'm going to really thicken up my top lid. And I am really happy with that. So you want to make sure your eyes pop out or stand out so make them pop and then the final step is the heart so on her right side under her eye just kind of off to the corner of her eye right here she has a black heart so I am going to actually use this same pencil I'm going to draw the outline of a heart and then I'm going to fill it in I have here q-tips and some makeup remover in case I smudge too much somewhere I can really clean it up nicely but I'm just going to freehand it and add a heart. All right, so I've just added the outside and now I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in. I'm actually really happy with it. And I think it's going to be perfect. I don't even think I need my makeup remover. Just make sure you have it handy in case you do need it because when you're putting the heart on, if you go out of the lines anywhere, you can clean it up really, really easily. So I'm very, very happy with this look. It actually was pretty quick for me to put together, finding items in my house that I had to put the outfit together. Obviously the hair was really easy because I already have a similar length and color hair that she did through most of the movie. And then the makeup came together as well. This is my completed look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And of course I have some black sunglasses handy because there are certain scenes in the movie Birds of Prey where Harley Quinn is wearing really cool black sunglasses. So if you haven't seen the movie, you definitely should get out there and see it. It's full of action and it's really, really great. It inspired me to become Harley Quinn and to make this costume amazing. And I am so happy with how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned step by step how you as well can put this costume together and possibly become Harley Quinn yourself. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Make sure you click that button down below, the little one that says subscribe. Make sure you click it so that you can be a subscriber. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. And if you click the little bell, it's really cute, little bell down there, you'll get a notification every time we upload a new video. Bye.